Hey y'all, this is Zio Gaming, and today Zio is going to talk about Naughty Dog and Square Enix using the DMCA to take down spoilers and such. So let's get into it, shall we? That's right, we're talking about Square Enix, Naughty Dog, and the DMCA, and how they apparently are abusing the DMCA today. So, if you haven't gotten your coffee, go ahead and go get it. I'll wait. Mmm, good coffee. Anyway, so, here's the deal. We're going to go through. We're looking at this right now. Uh, this is what we talked about last week, by the way. And uh, it's still making its rounds, of course, but with what we talked about yesterday and among other things, it's getting a lot more credibility, even though we still didn't exactly see where it was coming from. But we're going to revisit it real quick, just just in case anybody uh, is out of the loop and living under a rock, didn't see anything previously, of course. But apparently Square Enix is now threatening to sue people over showing the ending to Final Fantasy VII Remake because... Uh, trying not to spoil it, but it's not the ending you're expecting. Now, I hadn't actually seen the ending, uh, so I can't really comment on it, so therefore I can't spoil it for you, because uh, you know I don't exactly want to see it myself right now. But we talked about spoilers and stuff yesterday, so if you, you don't know what I'm talking about, go take a look at that. Um, but yeah, apparently, if you show the ending, they are threatening to now sue people as well as take DMCA action against channels and stuff and as of yesterday we did see a channel get multiple 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 strikes for trials of mana which of course is a square enix product pretty much in the same vein of spoilers right um and i had a conversation with a uh, d-pad chad as well where we were talking about how i was feeling like maybe it was just uh, the japanese companies because you know it g generally is where it's coming from and they just don't understand dmca among other things and uh then woke up this morning and saw what naughty dog was doing was like yep yep nope this this is way different way worse or way worse than than you were originally thinking about now we went through the uh material license last time when we talked about this of course um but we're going to go over this one more time real quick before we go into the Naughty Dog stuff. But uh, yeah, this is the Legal and Intellectual Property Division of Square Enix Co. LTD. The content uploaded by you infringes Square Enix Co. LTD's copyright in Final Fantasy VII Remake. The unauthorized content does not constitute a fair use of the intellectual property even if the user purchased the game at retail. And I beg to differ, to be totally honest. You buy the game, it's your game. You can do what you want with it. Even if they go ahead and throw a, you can't capture this on the PlayStation 4 because they can do that. They can build that into the game. Doesn't mean you can't capture it and share it with the world. It's, it's up to you to do on that. As long as it's under fair use, regardless of what they say. And, you know, they can sit there and write a eula that says any and all, um, you know, video of this game does not, you know, does not fall under fair use because we said so. However, fair use law dictates, yes, yes, it can. As long as you're doing it within the bounds of you know, the rule of law, yes, it can absolutely be fair use. Um, regardless of what their EULA or material licensing, handling, or usage license says. Now, there are things that differ, or that will, um, change that for instance you got a review copy right you got a review copy you um sign a you know nda or something like that a legal document saying you will not say anything show anything or whatever until a particular street date in which then it's fair game you can go ahead and go nuts go banana release you know your reviews release your guides all that good stuff um by that certain time that is different Right, so if you broke, say, that NDA or whatever, you know, official document you had, you know, uh, then they can legally come after you for doing so. Especially if you've signed it, saying, "Yeah, yeah, I'll take this, you know, free, you know, this review copy or whatever it is, you know, this free copy of the game. I won't break street date." However, if say 
the game came into your hands because it was, I don't know, sent to the wrong address or something with your name slapped on it or something like that, or, or whatever other crazy way, and you're not actually covered under that NDA, you absolutely have every right that you want to to go ahead and play that game and show it off and do whatever, and they can sit there and they can DMCA you all you want because, you know, you're breaking street date and all this other stuff, but, you know, legally... I don't think there's a whole lot they can really do about it other than, uh, you know, throw a hissy fit because they're they're pretty much good at doing that because you didn't sign that NDA. You're not covered or you're, you're not, um, you know, held by the bounds of whatever contract that other people had done. And of course, uh, you know, there are some other legalities about like how you obtain said copy and other stuff that they could absolutely pursue, of course. Uh, but, you know, if you obtained it through legal means or something and, you know, got it and anyway, it's it's a messy thing. It, it can get gray and it can get ugly really, really quickly. <laughs> but uh, anyway, in addition, the uploaded content specifically violates the material usage license because it includes content that players were prohibited from natively capturing on the PS4. So what? Who cares? I mean, hell, back in the day, like 2007, you know what we used? We used camcorders. That's what people did. People had camcorders sitting up recording game footage as they played and then uploaded it to whatever video platform that was being used at the time. I think it was YouTube. I'm not sure. It was fledgling. It was new at the time. Anyway. Yeah, seriously. Uh, that That's exactly what we did. We didn't really give a dang whether or not you wanted us to natively capture it or not. It, it's still It's still fair use. See section one in the final two paragraphs of material uses license. I don't remember it actually really saying anything noteworthy. You can go back and take a look. We went through it and talked about those. Um, therefore, you should retract your counter notice. Why? <laughs> Um, anyway, w when a company is sitting there sending you something like this, one has to sit there and think and believe that they're bluffing. If they legitimately thought they had a case, this, this may not even be a thing. Uh, you know, they'd just be like, okay, no problem. Here's the lawyers. Um, but yeah, it, leave, leave it up to you to think about that. If you're unwilling to do this thing, Square Enix must reserve all rights, including the right to pursue legal action against you. Best Square Enix Co. Ltd. Anyway, you know uh, when we first came across this, of course, people were talking about how it was fake, right? The, the Square Enix haters made this up and stuff like that. Uh, and I talked about in my video that it may not be because uh, we're we're talking about a Japanese company. Usually, when things come from across the pond, there are you know mistakes and say grammar and other things because they are translating into English because the person they're dealing with happens to be English because you know it's U.S. code, of course, U.S. law that they're they're dealing with when they're in Japan or something like that, which is a whole other whole other mess. Anyway, <laughs> but uh. Yeah, Square Enix has come down hard on Final Fantasy VII Remake's uh, ending, and they've been hitting Trials of Mana recently, uh, just just taking everything down with with the uh, hammer of the DMCA. And of course, this morning, woke up and found this. Uh, apparently, The Last of Us Part Two is now on the no-no list. You're not allowed to talk about it on YouTube or anywhere else because Naughty Dog is also going to be using the DMCA to shut you the fuck up. Yeah, that's right. Um, anyway, apparently I'm going to get a little heated here. <laughs> Sorry, I had to had to pause. Konika was looking at me funny because uh, <laughs> I told her I couldn't cuss because, you know, it's it's YouTube and stuff. Now, I can do that for BitChute. I don't have to bleep anything out, but she's giving me this really, really weird look, and uh, I couldn't help but... But laugh. Uh, anyway, so Naughty Dog has decided they're going to be doing the exact same thing. The DMCA is not a tool to be used to silence spoilers and other things. It is a tool designed to, you know, to prevent people from actually uploading your legitimate stuff as their own. So we gave examples of it last time. So if I took, say, um, Geeks and Gamers video here, ripped it down or downloaded it, re-uploaded it, didn't change a thing, didn't add any commentary, didn't talk about it, didn't criticize them, didn't do anything with it, just straight up whole cloth 
uploaded it, that would be in violation of the DMCA, and they have every right to come after me to DMCA that video, of course. But if I took that and I chopped it up, you know, you know talked a few points because maybe I disagree with something they said, right? Um, and I want it to put my you know what what i thought about it and it's like no 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 you're wrong you forgot about this and this happened here and this you know something like that yeah that would be a different story that would be considered fair use and uh gameplay of course is i guess you can say it's hitting that that gray line because um you know they they want to claim the the movies or whatever that uh, the video that essentially plays in the gameplay usually the gameplay itself isn't something that gets struck but the second you play 30 seconds of, you know, I'm going to keep calling them FMVs, but they're not that anymore, are they? That That's old, old day stuff. Anyway, you know, the cinematics, there we go. When the cinematics plays, they want to claim that regardless of what you're doing, whether you're talking over it, just showing it because, you know, it's happening in game and you're reacting to it, you know, live and stuff like that. And they want to claim that and say that that's, that's, that's something they can take down and it, and it hits sort of a, a gray section as a result because it's not you know it's not a tv show right it's not like i've taken um uh what is it new blood or something like that and threw an entire episode of that up there now it's just a a few seconds or a few minutes of video playing from a game that i'm currently playing so you know it's in my opinion of course fair use to to do that not put an episode on tv or of tv up but you know the gameplay that sort of thing uh but yeah i i saw this and was like no way naughty dog really really this is what we're going to be resorting to um we talked about this spoiler free not that long ago too so uh <laughs> you know there there's always that looming over my head because why not i need another dmca um but yeah, uh, he's gone ahead and shown that there was a Naughty Dog abuse copyright to prank the, the Last of Us Part 2 video taken down by a copyright strike. So, you know, we, we've got a little bit more proof there that it was actually legitimately taken down due to a third party copyright strike. And, um, you know, seriously, something needs to be done about this. Somebody at YouTube, someone somewhere needs to freaking do something about this because this is starting to get ridiculous. You cannot use the DMCA as a tool to bring down criticism and, and you know, to bring down spoilers. I've got it. I understand. You don't want people to be spoiled by your game. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before you had such a disgruntled employee that uh, decided that they were going to leak almost every video or every, you know, cinematic of the game onto the internet. Maybe you should have done something for them a little more. You paid them because apparently that was the whole thing. They were disgruntled because they weren't getting paid. But yeah, it just seems like Naughty Dog has some in-house things that are really something that they should probably address. Um, you know, we, we talked about a few things in the past from their crunch and other stuff. Uh, you know, that they need to really, really look down and address, especially since we've got a game here that, you know, has been put on indefinite, uh, not really cancellation, but indefinite hiatus, I guess you can say, because, uh, you know, the certain viral thing that's happening around the world. But, uh, you know, if you've got it finished enough for a digital, you probably should go ahead and put it on, you know, go ahead and set the digital out there for people to play because people still want to play it. At the same time, striking down things like this is not the way to go. This is what you call the Streisand effect. The second you go ahead and start canceling, you know, DMCAing people for showing this sort of thing, striking it down and all that other good stuff, more and more people will go out and hunt it down. More and more people will see it. Um, whether or not it's going to affect the cells of The Last of Us Part Two, I have no idea. It may not. Um, even if, say, Final Fantasy VII Remake was pulled for me, I'm still going to eventually buy it when it comes out on PC next year, and I'm probably still going to attempt to stream it, providing Square Enix doesn't fucking DMCA me for fucking doing it. Anyway, so with any luck, you know, that stuff will be calmed down at that point in time. Uh, but yeah, this is not what the DMCA was made for. It was to protect your intellectual property, right? Um, not to silence somebody because they say you've got a big forehead or because they don't like how you do your reactions or anything like that or because they're showing spoilers of your game or whatever. People have every right 
to go out and find this stuff if they want to see it. If there's a gameplay out there and they want to see how something ends because they may not get around to doing it, that is up to them to make that call. It is not up to you as the company to suddenly strike down anything and everything related to it because you want to throw a hissy fit that you may not or that you may anger people because that seems to be what the case is. Um, as I've heard, because I haven't actually seen it, Final Fantasy VII Remake really you know, messed up the entire game. Um, I don't know exactly how, but that is what I have heard. And of course on the article, the top section I think touches on it, but I conveniently ignored it because I know how to do that sort of thing. Um, to, to avoid said spoilers, but you know, if there's any truth to that and somebody does get exposed to it, who was going to pay, you know, buy the game, they may of course see that and go, oh, well, um, yeah, I'm not wasting my money on this because it's not, not what I thought it was, not what I was, you know, asking for, not what I had been waiting for for 15 plus years, you know, that sort of thing. And I got it. They don't want that sort of thing to happen. But do you know how you prevent that from happening? Making a good fucking game. That's how. If you're going to sit there and slap, say, a remake and call it a remake, make it a remake. We were fine with, you know, the new battle system and added story elements to the game. You know, we've even gotten over the fact that it's episodic now, that we're going to have three or four episodes, you know, enlarging this game from where, you know, it was to get to to the end point but if you're going to tra take the story and completely screw it up to make it a completely new story all together you're going to anger all your old fans who have been waiting for this for over a decade anyway again had to pause that had some kid issues apparently we, we've got kids screaming in the background and i forgot what my thought was but anyway yeah you know the dmca is not something for you to silence these sort of things that's not what it was designed for and the fact that you're doing it of course brings in the streisand effect and we all get to go look at what's going on because what may have been just you know the last of us part two got leaked right the the cinematics what might have been just people who were uber uber interested in this particular game right who really 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 wants you know, those spoilers who are really thirsty for them might go out and seek it, right? Uh, and a few other people may go look at it and go, oh, I kind of like that game. Maybe I should go buy it when it comes out and other stuff. And now, with all the negative press, people are going to look at it and go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the game that Naughty Dog decided they were going to silence everybody from talking about it for some reason. Yeah, I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. That's not, not, not good business, Naughty Dog. That's not how you should be doing things at all because now more and more people are going to look at it. Now, are people still going to buy this game? Of course. There are some very, very hardcore PlayStation fans out there who think that The Last of Us is the holy grail of God or something out there. And, uh, you know, they will buy up and lap up anything that Sony decides to just spill out of its mouth just because of it. You know, it... It's a thing that happens. Anyway, uh, you know, and the same thing with the Xbox, of course. It's, it's not PlayStation exclusive. You've got the fanboys on both sides who will just lap up anything that their parent company or you know, their favorite company will will put out there regardless. So, you know, I, I expect The Last of Us Part Two to be doing something. But if people are, like, raging about what they've seen from The Last of Us Part Two, which is something I have seen a lot of recently... It's people saying, you know, how, wh what? It's not the fact that it was leaked. It's, it's what is contained in the leaks that they don't like makes one think that maybe you made not so, some good choices somewhere along the line of development at this point in time. Um, I mean, heck, when I first saw marketing for it, apparently the only marketing I got exposed to for a good few weeks, I think, is, oh, um, character is lesbian and character has girlfriend they slow dance and kiss and that's all I ever heard about it and I'm like okay that tells me nothing about the game doesn't make me really want to go buy it either um, you know and I wasn't really that huge of a fan of the first one of course so you know there, there's nothing in there to tell me that I should want to go and play the first one to then want to continue the story in the second one either uh, you know you gotta fix your marketing
all of y'all need to fix your marketing. Anyway, but yeah, I, I think that's that's going to do it. I, I almost went on a tangent. Or did I go on a tangent? I went on a tangent, didn't I? You can say something. Make her say something. Maybe. All right, thank you. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll, we'll end it here. Let me know what you think about everything down in the comments below. Mm -hmm. I'm Zio, this is Zio Gaming, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And, of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.